leaving tomorrow morning. Now I got nothing against you personally, but you're one by the authority. And you're bad influence in this household, in my opinion. Well, ma'am. We sure didn't mean to influence anybody. And if we did, ma'am, we we apologize. I'm going to town tomorrow to see about some shots for the baby. When I come back, you better be gone or I'll kick you out myself. What's he need is dip tip? I'm awful sorry, boys. But when Ed gets mad, you know, when she gets an idea. Well, there ain't anything to apologize for, H.I. Seems pretty clear what the situation is here. Yeah? I guess the missus wants us to clear up. Now, H.I., if you'll pardon me for saying so, I get the feeling that this here ain't exactly working out. Edwina's really a real sweetheart. And as per usual, I wouldn't be surprised if the source of the marital friction weren't financial. Well, as a matter of fact, I did lose my job today. Uh, you're young and you got your health? What you want with a job? But I'd rather light a candle than curse your darkness. As you know, Evel here and I never go anywhere without there's a purpose. And here we are, in your little domicile. We come to invite you in on a little score high. A bank HI. Well, come on now. Oh. I know you're partial to convenience stores, but damn it, HI. Sun don't rise and set on the corner grocery. Black up for set. Gotta have a little bit of ambition. We just watch it on the news, how somebody went and snatched up one of them Arizona babies. Oh, for Christ's sake. Now that there's somebody who's thinking big. <laughs> Sitting on your butt, playing house with a, well, don't get me wrong, H.I., with a perfectly fine woman. A woman who needs one of them button-down types. I don't particularly think that's any of yours. Oh, Looky there. Right there's a picture of El Dorado High. Though the locals call it the Farmers and Mechanics Bank of LaGrange. Looks like a hayseed bank. To tell you the truth, it is a hayseed bank. Except for the last Friday every financial quarter. There's more cash in that bank than there are flies at a barbecue. And guess what day it is tomorrow? When all the hayseeds come in and cash their farm subsidies checks. A1 information, High. Got in the joint from a guy named Lawrence Spivey, one of Dick Nixon's undersecretary of agriculture. He's in for soliciting sex from a state trooper. Ordinarily, we don't associate with that type of person, but he was trying to score a few brownie points with some of the boys. <laughs> boys, I can't. Why? We need somebody handy with a scatter gun, cover them hay seeds, while we go in there and get that cash. You understand, H.I.? If this works out, it, it's just the beginning of a spree to cover the entire Southwest proper, and we keep going until we can retire. Or we get caught. Either way, we're fixed for life. Boys, this is a kind offer. But you're just suggesting I up and leave Ed? Now that'd be pretty damn cowardly. Wouldn't it? Would it? Think about it, H.I. Seems to me, sitting here, you ain't doing her any good, and you ain't being true to your own nature. We race in Arizona in the studio today. It's a race in Arizona rap. We make the fans clap. MCs are whack if they try to stack. But we be stacking cash, and we be robbing banks, stealing diapers in the flash. We the top break. I'm a master of chick, I'm a bringer of beer There's a light in the fridge and my face is near The girl is kicking me out, but you know I don't care I got plans, each eye, so I say listen to it Arizona in the studio, 
There's a baby on set and it's five hours late. Hard's getting tired, we forgot the plate of fried chicken. It might be missing in the shop, but we still gotta chop it up with what we got. Are you recording? Sorry, <laughs> Kate, take one. Though the locals call it the Farmers and Mechanics Bank of LaGrange, looks like a hayseed bank. <laughs> the truth, it is a hayseed bank. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs>